the Israeli military announced Friday that it has expanded aerial attacks and ground activity in Gaza, following two raids into the territory, in anticipation of a possible full ground invasion. Israel's military assault on Gaza is now in the third week after Hamas militants killed over 1,400 Israelis. The Gaza Health Ministry says more than 7,300 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli strikes, including 2,900 children. The Israeli bombs leveled entire neighborhoods in the northern half of the Gaza Strip. More than a million people have been displaced, causing a humanitarian crisis in the region. For the 18th consecutive day, Gaza remains under a full electricity blackout following the Israelis' halt of electricity and fuel supply to Gaza and water as well. Um, the backup generators for many essential services, including hospitals and water desalination plants and food production, are um, one by one coming to a halt because of the lack of fuel. Humanitarian aid is slow to reach the Palestinian people, who are desperate for dwindling water, food, fuel, and medical supplies. <laughs> The conflict has sparked fears of a wider war across the Middle East. Iran's foreign minister warned the U.S. in a United Nations speech on Thursday. I say frankly to the American statesmen who are now managing the genocide in Palestine that we do not welcome to expansion of the war in the region. But I warn if the genocide in Gaza continues, they will not be spared from this fire. Meanwhile, the new speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, Mike Johnson, has agreed to work with the Biden administration to provide more than $14 billion in financial assistance to Israel. Our, our nation's greatest ally in the Middle East is under attack. The first bill that I'm going to bring to this floor in just a little while will be in support of our dear, dear friend Israel, and we're overdue in getting that done. While Israel wages war with Hamas, the U.S. military bombed Iranian-backed fighters in eastern Syria after American troops came under attack.